Hey guys, it's me. Um, so, in my Roblox um, account giveaway final video, I said some words and thank yous for getting 200 subscribers, same as the actual 200 subscribers video itself. And that wasn't enough for me. I need to give you guys my full appreciation. So let's do this. Sorry, I just ran up the stairs to make this video, but. Okay, so let, let's start off by saying this. YouTube has totally and utterly changed my life forever. And once again, even though I'm a small channel, I'm appreciative of all of you. All of you guys are amazing. So, um, it, YouTube has really changed my life. Like, once again, I'm a small channel. I'm repeating myself, sorry. I'm a small channel, but that doesn't mean much. I can still work hard for more subscribers, more likes, more views, and I can just have fun. That's, that's what this started off with, fun. It, it, and it still is fun. It's never really a job. But I will say, YouTube has kind of changed my perception of what I want to do with my life. Now, I don't want to be a YouTuber. I don't want to be a YouTuber. Maybe I can be, but I've made it clear in multiple videos I want to be an actor when I grow up. And I want to work hard for that. But if it weren't for me making this channel, I would not have that dream. My dream for literally years and years and years and years of my life was to be like a chemist or a scientist or something. And as I grew up, as I grew up and matured, I realized that's not what I would enjoy. That's a job that I wouldn't enjoy in life. And, you know, the question got brought up to me around two or three years into this channel again what do you want to do with your life so i thought about it and i thought about more do i want to be a game designer do i want to be a video creator like someone behind the camera someone as an editor or do i want to be the person in front of the camera and i want to be the person in front of the camera the person in front of the camera who can express themselves in a movie in on tv or through a camera like this iphone 8 just talking or doing a skit or doing a movie or being on live television which i still hope will happen one day i don't know maybe i'm getting too cocky but like i just hope one day i'm like on kimmel or something that would be great and it would all be thanks to you guys it's just I feel like what anyone could tell you in life, and this is to all you youngsters out there or growing teenagers like me right now. If you have a, if you have a perception on what you want to do in life and you're like fully sticking to that, like me, I'm an actor. You, you could be a cook. You can be a... Scientist if you want to you can be a Math teacher you can be a teacher just in general whatever you want to do in life stick to it and Practice why do I still have this channel? Why am I still uploading this channel because I'm having fun and more importantly I'm practicing back during February or early January February uh, maybe March or no, I did one during quarantine. Yeah, that's right. I did a new series called The Curse of 2170 um, on the second channel. Basically, during that time, I was uploading it as a series, you know. And I actually put story and death into it. I got people on it. I got actually one person. It was my friend Maddox um, and Michael as a call person. Um, I made a script for it i was trying to get everything ready and set up this is what i've been planning for years make a full length movie type thing 
but instead it's a series. It's still what I enjoy. The Curse of 2170 was going to be Deadstone. It was going to be the Zanecraft movie. It was going to be all these things that I gave up on. Binder Man. The Zanecraft movie. Deadstone. Binder Man. All these things. But it was finally in a miniseries. And throughout that, I started figuring out more and more and more stuff. Don't look at the camera too much when you're in scenes that you're playing out like like the camera shooting me there. Don't uh, work on your lines and acting and write right before you talk. You have to write something down into a computer. That's how they do it with with acting in real life. They use scripts and everything. I learned a lot of stuff and it was so crushing when quarantine happened because I was really planning on finishing the series. So I, I didn't have episode four done. I recently finished it during quarantine. I think maybe it was the first month of quarantine, maybe seconds. Um, I, f I finished that episode, which was episode four and that's it. It's, that's how it's going to stay. Because a lot of shit has been going down and I can't just get everybody into one place for many reasons. I can't schedule it to 2021. I can't schedule it like when the cure gets ready and everything. It's just I can't do that anymore. But I can do more stuff besides it. I can do so much more with this channel, the second channel third and the fourth channel i know i have a lot of, i have quite a few channels but it makes sense the third channel i don't use at all it's just for clips and um maybe maybe the films i was thinking about maybe transferring all the curse of 2170 videos onto there but it's debatable um the fourth channel or though is a new channel I'm excited to announce. So me and my friend Michael, once again, are collaborating together and in lots of videos, and we are calling ourselves Walrus and Kushrank, Little Kushrank Freestyles. And basically, we are going to do freestyle challenges, and then on the separate channels, I'm going to upload the raps to uh, Zane. Some raps, some, a lot, uh, some raps are going to be on here, too. And the other... And Michael's going to upload his personal raps onto his new channel, Lil Kushank Official. Basically, um, we're working on the first video now. Michael is going to do his freestyle. I hope he's doing it right now. Um, but mine's done. And to be honest, it came out pretty good. I'm not the best at this freestyling. But I am still I can still work with it. But uh, he to be saying, Oh, why, why do you have so much channels? You do this because blah 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 no no it's because i like to try new and different things actually the third cha the fourth channel um the one i just announced used to be zam the one project i talked talked about way back then in um the doomsday event is finally here video so yeah it was it was a long time ago but um we gave up on zam nobody even d did anything so we decided to change it to this and we're going to be working our asses off on this and yeah go subscribe link in the description but i can try new and different things and new and different styles for my crafts my arts everything my practices to become an actor in the future and once again i wouldn't have done any of this without your guys's love and support the comments are literally incredible me and we, me getting more and more and more subscribers every single month. And just this year, we grew, like I said in the video, we grew by like 40 or 50. It was, it's absolutely insane. It gets me so happy. I'm at a point where I am actually doing great. And that's because I made a lot of changes this year. And that's the thing. You learn, you grow, you make changes. You have fun with what you do, and you never give up. Don't give up on your dream. If your parents stereotype you to work in an office 
and that's not what you want to do, grow past that. Find your own passion. Work on that passion. Work to secure that passion as a job. That's what I'm trying to do. And that's what you can do too. Now, if you want the office mechanic to working in a cubicle and stuff, and that's what you enjoy, go for it. There are still a lot of qualifications to get in that job, but not too many. That's why parents stereotype it as the quality job to go to. But it is either passion or nothing. Because you can't live a life when you're just not enjoying what you're doing. I found mine. You guys have to find yours. And that's, I guess, some life advice from a 14-year-old. But, um... Yeah, I can't, it's just insane. I'm so happy we. I'm at this point in my channel's career, or whatever you want to call it. So thank you. From the bottom of my heart, all these lo loving supporters of mine, thank you for 200 subscribers. I have many videos planned for this year. The two in my mind right now is one, fish, finishing my 200 subs play button. That's coming, by the way. And two... A sort of draw my life mechanic type thing for my five year anniversary on YouTube, which is coming in only. This video is long enough. I need to figure this out real fast. <laughs> I don't know what day. Uh, my five year YouTube anniversary is only com is coming in a month and tw and thirteen days. A month and thirteen days until. I've been making videos on this platform for five years. And it's a draw of my life kind of mechanic telling you about how much my life has changed over the five years of uploading YouTube. But anyway, guys, thank you. Thank you so much for 200. I can't, I can't say that enough. Anyway, I, I hope you take some of this advice, the kind of advice and words I kind of gave you and truly embrace in your passions. Because you can make jobs out of that. You can make a living. You can do a lot with passions and stuff. You see, the, also the one reason why I don't want to become a full-time YouTuber is because they take risks. It, the YouTube algorithm is so, so strange. You need to do something that is either trendy, funny, or good in general. And then you blow up and then you make a job out of it. You hear that most YouTubers drop out of high school before they do it. But that's not my plan. My plan is to work from high school to college to my future. And that's what you guys should be doing too. School is important. And to embrace in some of these passions, you have to go to school. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to upload every day this week. Or, ah, uh, today's Friday. I'm going to upload um, every day until, um, for, I'm just going to upload every day for a while. Okay, see you guys in the next video. Bye!